This past weekend I came here to the Geek Retreat in Kidderminster for my 30th ever cubing competition. If you haven't been to a Geek Retreat before, I recommend checking one out. They're very cool places with lots of board games and other geeky stuff. But I wasn't here to play board games, I was here to solve Rubik's Cubes. But before that, I had breakfast. Yum! Now, this was not an ordinary cubing competition. It was called the Great British Blind Off, and that name refers to the fact that almost all of the events were done blindfolded. So, how does blindfolded Rubik's Cube solving work? Okay, well, first of all, we have um, scramblers, who you can see here scrambling the cubes, which are then given to the cubers to solve. The cubers will spend some time, first of all, memorizing the state of the cube. Uh, this typically takes up most of the time of the solve. And then when they're done memorizing the state of the cube, uh, they pull down their blindfold. And in some cases, as you can see here, they have a piece of cardboard in front of them, which they pull up to block their view to make absolutely sure that they can't see the cube. In other cases, as you'll see, there's a judge standing there who is really just another cuber who's not solving at the time, and they hold up a piece of paper between the person's eyes and the cube. So this is roughly how all of these blindfold cubing events work. The cube gets scrambled, the cuber memorizes the state of the cubes, and then they put on their blindfold and get to solving. In total, there are four blindfold cubing events. And this was one of those competitions where all four were held. The most basic event is solving a regular 3x3 blindfolded, but here you can see a competitor solving a 4x4 Rubik's Cube blindfolded. And there's also a 5x5 uh, Rubik's Cube blindfolded event. And they all work in the same way with the memorization and then the solving with the blindfold on. And in this case, you can see the judge holding up the uh, sheet of paper. The final blindfolded event is the one that really blows my mind. It's called multi-blind and as the name suggests it involves competitors solving multiple Rubik's cubes blindfolded. So in this case the cuber was given 15 scrambled cubes and after memorizing the state of all 15 they pulled on their blindfold and then successfully solved all of them to the uh, delight of the audience. Notice by the way how quiet the room was. This is really important in these cubing competitions with blindfolded events to allow the competitors to concentrate. Now in case solving 15 Rubik's Cubes in one go wasn't impressive enough, here's somebody solving 46 Rubik's Cubes. He went on to solve successfully 39 of the 46 and that was enough to secure him first place in the uh, multi-blind event. So almost all of the events in this competition yeah. involve blindfolds. But there was one event which didn't, and this is known as the Fewest Moves Challenge, or FMC for short. So the goal of this event is to find the shortest solution to a scramble that you can, and you have an hour to do it. So everyone is given the same sequence of scrambling moves on a piece of paper, and at the end you hand in your solution, also on a piece of paper, as a sequence of moves, and the goal is to make this as short as possible. We had three attempts uh, at this event, an hour each, and the winner is the person with the shortest average solution across the three uh, attempt. So this is what you see at the end uh, of the event. This is my solution to one of the souls, which was 27 moves. And along with my other two solutions, this got me second place in the fewest moves event, which I was really delighted with. Now, I couldn't finish this video without showing you this particularly cute mask. So there we are. That was the Great British Bake Off. I mean, Great British Blind Off 2022 in Kidderminster. Most Rubik's Cube competitions involve a lot more solving with eyes open, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing a rather more specialist cubing competition. If you're interested, there's almost certainly cubing competitions somewhere near you, so do sign up if you have a chance. They're great fun, and actually blindfold solving is not nearly as difficult as it looks. So, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.